What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome back to today's video, which is going to be, you know, we're returning to the realistic rebuilds just a little bit, we're not going to overexert ourselves because a lot of the new rosters, a lot of the new moves that have been made, that's kind of the excitement of, you know, Madden 20, when we do the Madden 20 rebuilds, getting to play with these teams. So, draft pending, I'm, I'm kind of trying to make a list of maybe five teams that we can rebuild based upon some exciting free agency moves and see what we can do here while we're still stuck in the Madden 19 universe. And I felt what better spot to start than the Cleveland Browns. New head coach, Freddie Kitchens, John Dorsey, has gone out and done one hell of a job bringing in some new players, as we saw with the Odell Beckham Jr. trade, which sent first and third, which we actually traded, along with Jabril Peppers to bring in Odell. Of course, we couldn't use the Madden trade mechanics because there's no way the Giants would accept that trade, but bringing in Odell to pair with his buddy from college, best friend Jarvis Landry. That is incredibly intriguing. We have Kareem Hunt here on a one-year deal because Kareem Hunt does not exist in Madden anymore. We had to create him, but we used all of his stats from the last time he was in Madden. He is very, very good. Actually, I don't really know what his dev trait was, but I just figured because, you know, you kick the crap out of someone, even if you didn't have a start, we'll knock it down to a quick. Um, obviously, you got a franchise quarterback here in Baker Mayfield. We had the trade where they sent right guard Kevin Zeitler, who's like an 87, one of the better guards in the game, which will be taken over by Corbett, who is a rookie, but he has a quick dev, so we're hoping that he can develop. And with that trade, they were able to bring in Olivier Vernon from the Giants. So we're going to pair him with another free agent signing in Sheldon Richardson at D-Tackle to make a very scary front. When you look at the rest of this team, though, it's, it's still pretty dang good. Uh, you know, strong safety. We probably could show up the linebackers just a little bit. Get a partner in crime for Denzel Ward. But that's kind of what we can look towards doing in the upcoming draft. So just because we'll start the 2018 season, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just semantics at this point. Uh, I kind of just made a bunch of quick changes for this. Obviously, I wasn't going to be able to make all the free agent moves, but I made all the big ones. Like, as of right now, like the Baltimore Ravens, that was like the last big big moves. They got Earl Thomas and Mark Ingram. And then pretty much every other big free agency move, like we'll say, you know, if it's significant to how it will play in these rebuilds, was made. So, uh, yeah, let's go see what we can do with the Browns. The Browns were pretty overpowered before. I think they're going to be even more powerful now. Let's confirm that. All right, so we're going to make a trade, too, before the season starts because these guys are actually are on the trade block, and we kind of got ripped off by throwing in this pick, but it was the only team that won it, both Duke Johnson and Emmanuel Ugba. So we had to throw in a 2023rd rounder to get Matt Milano, talented outside linebacker, who will be a starter right away for our defense. I'll put it in. Did you guys ever notice Big Mayfield got the headband? That's, like, not really an option. I don't know if that's just me, but cool. Pretty cool. At the midway point of view number one, we started out 4-0. Now we're on a four-game losing streak. I've lost some very suspect games against the Baltimore Ravens and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, but, I mean, it's Madden. At the end of the day, no matter what series we try to do, we're trying to play within the Madden 19 franchise mode. So it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. And I've learned at this point, this late in the stage, never get overly invested. Don't get emotional with Madden because I, I do feel like at the end of the day, it's just completely random. It is what it is. It takes you on this ride. And hopefully, when all is said and done, after five years, uh, you know, you're going for a Super Bowl run. Uh, looking at contracts here. Uh, we do know that Greg Robinson got a brand new contract. I feel like probably not going to offer him that. Brian Body Kahoot's an interesting one. As a depth safety, quick dev, 11 milli on the books. But, you know, he's not really... Is, is he really going to play a lot? Is he, is he... You know, it's... With... Um, yeah, I, I just feel like I just feel like we're probably not gonna spend any of this money, especially because we got some big contracts. We got Sheldon Richards' contract, Odell Beckham's contract. Let's just let's just chill out with spending money right now, especially in house mid season. So after starting the season four and zero, we ended up going eight and eight. I don't know why this game's the way it is, but it is. Uh, looking at our team, really, really strong base roster. Definitely some work to do on the offensive line, especially at the tackle spots. Maybe get some of those ugly contracts. We could maybe use a third wide receiver if we don't want to gamble that Callaway can develop into much. We got a hell of a running back tandem. Baker Mayfield's close to being a uh, 90 overall plus QB on the defensive side. I mean, our linebacking core is coming along. Um, maybe another big time core. Like, there's no holes on this team. It's just uh, a little annoying when 8-8. Eight 
Look at the stats here. Baker Mayfield, one hell of a year. 4,300 passing yards, 35 touchdowns to 11 picks. We get 1,100 rushing yards, 7 TDs from Hunt, 411 from Nick Chubb. So that is a lethal running back combination. Odell actually had a good year, surprisingly. 87 catches, 1,100 yards, 6 touchdowns. We've seen in various rebuilds in the years past. We actually got his correct number here at 13. Um, that the, the really high wide receivers never play well in the sim, but they played pretty damn well. We moved Jarvis Landry into the slot. He had a huge year, 79 catches, 1,200 yards, 14 tutties. Nice year from David Njoku, and an acceptable year from Antonio Callaway. Defensively, 112 tackles from Schobert, 7 TFLs. We have 15 sacks from Miles Garrett, 11 and a half from Olivier Vernon, 6 and a half from Sheldon Richardson, and the tackles for loss are ridiculous. And interceptions, Matt Milano, the guy we traded for. Three picks, Demarius Randall, three picks, two from Denzel Ward. Really productive year. Everything about this team was good except their record because for whatever reason, we lost like six games in a row midseason. Matt Ryan got himself another MVP award. Baker Mayfield coming in at number eight. Look, Lamar Jackson there too. Nice little rivalry. Can be a Bruins. Same goes for Mr. Sam Darnold. Um, in the AFC, I was a player that went to Phillip Rivers. Patrick, oh my God. Way down here, number four, Baker Mayfield. Disrespect. Uh, as well as with the rosters, because Madden is the way it is, I can't move Le'Veon Bell because he's an injured player, so I, I kind of have my hands tied for an offline player management. So that's the only big free agency move I could not make. Sorry, it's Madden. Defensive player of the year went to Deshaun Gibson on his new team there with the Houston Texans. That's a nice move going from Jacksonville to there. Um, Thomas Davis moving from the Panthers to the Chargers. Had a nice year. And Miles Garrett coming in at number 10. Offensive rookie of the year went to Sam Darnold. Baker Mayfield at three. Garbage. How, do those guys really have better than 35 tutties? I need to go look at the stats here. I feel I feel like we're getting robbed. Nick Chubb coming in at number eight. Defense rookie, they went to Jerome Baker with Denzel Ward at number six. Let's go see this. So we had 4,300 yards, 35 touchdowns for Baker Mayfield. What did Lamar Jackson in 34? Okay, that's, that's actually pretty damn good for Sam Darnold. What did Lamar Jackson do? Okay, QBs are super overpowered. I mean, they haven't fixed him running. 25 <laughs> rushing yards for Lamar Jackson, but that's still a really good year. These young, this is this is like a big rival. We're getting Big Ben, Eli Manning, Phillip Rivers 3.0 here in this sim. Let's go. Let's get into the offseason. Let's have a good draft. And let's, for the love of God, walk in next season with like a fringe 90 overall team and try to go above 500. We have a decision to make here with Kareem Hunt. He was only on a one-year deal. Now he wants $46 million dollars. And I feel like you always got to think about the QB. Before the end of this rebuild, we're going to have to re-sign uh, Baker Mayfield. We're going to have some big contracts along the way. And the fact that Bradley Chubb's, what, he's an 86 right now, a year younger. You know, we're probably fine with Bradley Chubb. So we had a very nice two-headed running back attack. Um, but I, that's, that's just too much money to have at the running back spot, considering the upside and potential of Nick Chubb. And look at our draft recap. This is my first draft using the, I would say at this point in time, like 90% completed 2019 draft, which is available on my Discord. Uh, with our no longer first round pick that we trade, no doubt. In the second round of pick 20, we got Rock Yasin, corner from Temple, 73 overall. We got Quick Dev, 22 from Temple. He's going to come in and be able to help uh, compete. I don't necessarily know if he's going to get to the levels of Denzel Ward, but definitely a very interesting corner that should see some action as a rookie. Third round to get that partner with Chubb because we traded Duke Johnson in part of the Matt Milano trade. We decided not to extend Kareem Hunt because that was far too expensive. We got Justice Hill, the combine workout warrior from Oklahoma State, 71 quick. We got 93 speed, 94 acceleration. Uh, this guy's an absolute playmaker and a good compliment to what we have in the power back in Nick Chubb. We got Drew Samia, former starting guard for Baker Mayfield at Oklahoma, 72 overall in the fourth round. We got Ben Burkirvin, linebacker from Washington, Ryan Bates, guard from Penn State, and the best kicker in college football, Matt Gay from Utah. Unfortunately, if you're on console, you can't do it because obviously Gay's an invalid name, but he is without a doubt like the best kicker. He should go. You know, between round five and seven, at some point, he's one of the better kickers in college the last couple years. So you can only get him on PC because I just, come on, Madden, grow up, okay? That's people's last names we're talking about. You can't make like Cox is either, so let's just disrespect to Fletcher Cox. But really solid draft class as we didn't spend any money in free agency because we're keeping our, you know, we got to keep our books somewhat light because we're going to have some big free agencies, um, impending players coming up in the next year or so. So uh, really solid draft for the Cleveland Browns. So now that we are fresh in to season 2019, the actual IRL year that they're going to have Odell and all these guys, uh, we're looking decent. I mean, we still have some holes in the offensive line that we were 
really unable to fill. Um, you know, we could actually look at moving Batonio back to ta I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, Ahmed the line's a question mark. We're still 85 overall, 89 offense, 89 defense, and Joku's coming along. We got Landry. We got Beckham. We got Callaway. We got some nice options. Chuck Chubb is going to be our lead back now with no more Kareem Hunt with Justice Hill helping on assistance. Baker Mayfield's almost a 90 overall QB, which obviously the sim takes an effect and really helps us out a little bit. Defensive line is scary. Miles Garrett joined the 99 club. He is a freak of nature, but he actually told me personally he doesn't want them gold gloves because dinosaurs wouldn't wear gold gloves, and he's a big dinosaur. <laughs> Uh, Finn. Uh, Denzel Ward, 95. We got Yasin will be our starting nickel. Randall's developing really, really nicely. He might actually have a chance of hitting into the 90s. Our linebacking core is pretty solid, all things considered. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're not a complete team yet, but for the Cleveland Browns to be already in year two, almost 90 offense, 90 defense, it is a tremendous starting spot as we look to finish above 500 here in our second year of five for this rebuild. So, here we are at the midway point of year number two. We're <laughs> barely above 500 but i guess it could be worse but the pittsburgh steelers are going off so it's looking like i mean barring you know the steelers get hitting our mid-season form from a year ago we're gonna be battling it out for a wild card berth our team's pretty damn good baker mayfield's into the 90s now we've improved our offense to skill points looking at contracts demarius randall has been an influential part on our defense we want to try to bring him back of course he wants more money joe shorbert with the quick dev 85 really talented linebacker so we're glad we can get him uh, J.C. Treader, we don't have an immediate replacement at center, so we'll throw him some cash. And, of course, he wants more money. So uh, for Treader and Randall, we'll come back to the table. We're not going to overpay for both of them, but we'll see if we can give them an improved offer and retain them for the remain of the rebuild. There we go. Exactly what we needed. Incredibly ugly record at 9-6-1, but still good enough to make the playoffs and take on the 8-8 eight eight Patriots. Our offense is up to a 95 overall. Defense is 91. Base, 89. One of the most explosive offenses in the league. And look at the AFC. Look at what we're going up against. Steelers 12-4. Ravens 12-4. Good God. Baker Mayfield, though, continuing to just proof that he's an elite quarterback. 4,700 passing yards, 37 touchdowns to 12 picks. Uh, Nick Chubb looks pretty good. Taking over as our lead back. 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns. The, uh, for the receiving standpoint, Jarvis Landry, massive season. 101 catches, 1,300 yards, 16 touchdowns. Big year from Njoku, 906. 1,006 from Odell. Uh, Callaway, nice little respectable year. On the defensive side, Schobert led the team with 125 tackles, 7 TFLs, and 2 sacks. 15 and a half sacks, 14 tackles for loss for our freak of nature, Mr. Miles Garrett on the defensive side. Nice year as well from Olivier Vernon. A couple, eh, you know what? I gotta be honest with you, want more turnover, especially with Denzel Ward being a 98 overall. Get a little bit more production there, bud. Yearly Awards MVP went to Le'Veon Bell, of course, just making this whole world seem ridiculous because he's still on the Steelers, but, you know, that's Madden doing Madden. Uh, Baker Mayfield coming in at number six. We have in the AFC Office Player of the Year went to Le'Veon Bell. Baker Mayfield coming in at number three. Defensive Player of the Year went to Ryan Shazier. Again, awesome. Let's just have two players. Ah! That's annoying. Uh, we had nobody show up. Offensive Rookie of the Year went to Dwayne Haskins. Uh, Justice Hill coming in at number five. Defense rookie of the year went to Devin White. Rocky Sin coming in at number three. So that's pretty good production for our highest pick, which we had to get in the later stages of the second round. So here we go. We got our first wild card playoff berth against the Patriots. Can we knock them off? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. It's an ugly record. So maybe the Sim Gods will make our, this game go in our favor. Alrighty, let's go. We're taking on, I think Dwayne Haskins is the quarterback of the Patriots. So I'm giving ourselves the edge here. Give me Baker Mayfield over Dwayne Haskins every day of the week. Going for it on third down. We're moving the ball. 7-7, seven, 14-7. Seven, seven. Both teams' defenses are kind of playing medium all right. But we have a 10-point lead. That looks like we're going to bring that into the second half. Oh, we get the nice little tutty at the end of the first half. You know, we're playing We're playing right now with the lead. I like it. I like it. We're not really taking our foot out the gas. We're getting touchdowns. So many times in the sim, when you get up, these red zone attempts are always just annoying field goals. And Baker Mayfield said, no, today we are going to get full six to seven points every single time we touch the ball. That is a big time win. A staple of showing the changing of the guard as the Browns knock off the Patriots 41 to 14 here. In the AFC wildcard round, 300 yards, two tutties from Baker Mayfield. Nice game from Nick Chubb as the Browns are moving on to the AFC divisional round here in year two of this five-year rebuild. All right, so here we are into the division round, taking on the one team you never want to see in the playoffs if you are an AFC team in a rebuild. 
and that is the Chargers, but we're getting out to a 10 to nothing start, and we are just pouncing, keeping our foot on our throats, 13 zip, almost a shutout for our defense in the first half, which is pretty good, look at that man, three points, let's go Browns D, hold them to two field goal attempts, there we go, nice little touchdown from the offense, and I think we should be able to control and see this one out, as we have a multi-score fourth quarter lead and there's the instant touchdown that gives us a little bit of insurance oh no oh they went for it on fourth down guys and they made it are you surprised and they tied it up with 13 seconds are you surprised this is ridiculous how is this football there is no possible way we're gonna choke like a double digit two score lead in the fourth quarter and end up losing in overtime is it Oh, I'm shocked. Oh, my God, guys. I've never seen anything like this before. I am so shocked. Odell, oh, my God. Odell only had two catches, nine yards. Oh, my God, guys. So ridiculous. Oh, this is so crazy. feels so rewarding. So what we had was a pretty boring offseason. No real big free agency signing. So in the draft, we got what we hope to be our new franchise tackle at either left or right in Trey Adams. 75 quick dev from Washington. Has had some injuries at Washington. Other than that, bonafide first-round talent. We got Bryce Hall, the cornerback from Virginia. We got Jalen Hawkins, the free safety from Cal. As are only 70 plus. And then for the rest of the draft, because it is my actual own draft class, I am a little bit critical of late-round picks. So we just pretty much filled out some depth. Uh, by adding Hennessy from Temple McGirt Jr. for the greatest name ever from NC State and Richie Warship at fullback. Year three of the rebuild is upon us, and we are a stack team. 89 overall, 91 offense, 93 defense. On offense, we got Odell. Nick Chubb's a 91. Odell's at 99, by the way. Baker Mayfield, 94. Legitimate shot. What's his dev right now? Superstar, legitimate shot. If he has another outstanding year, MVP caliber, he could be 99 come season's end. Juice has been tremendous out of the slot, and Joku's almost a 90. Uh, we got you know pretty much beefed up the interior. We got hopefully a franchise tackle in Trey Adams, our first round pick. So really, when you're looking at this team, offensive line, you know, Chuba Hubbard's replacement at right tackle. Then other than that, this should be our O line for the future. Batonio and Treader will be getting up there in age sooner than later, though. Defense is a 93. We got the 99 Miles Garrett, Sheldon Richards a 91, Ogan Joby 85, Olivier Vernon 87 at corner. Denzel Ward's a 99. We have Mitchell, who's still holding on to his rating. He's going to regress sooner than later. That's why we got Rocky Sin and drafted Bryce Hall. Marius Randall's an 88. Our linebacking core is nice. Milano's 83. Schobert 87. He's a shot to get into the 90s. So, I mean, this is an incredibly well rounded team. And I think, at least from this point forward, for the next. You know, a couple years, three, four, and five of the rebuild, we should be perennial playoff contenders and legitimate Super Bowl favorites. So midway point of view number three, we're four and three, which is, again, not really where we want to be, but we're, you know, we're right in the hunt here in what is looking to be another competitive AFC North. Looking at some contracts, that's why we haven't been spending any money in free agency. We're going to start off here with Miles Garrett getting a gigantic $87 million offer. He wants to make a little bit more. There's no way we're going to let him walk. We have David Njoku. That's a lot more reasonable deal. He wants more money. A surprise, surprise. Um, well, Vernon's interesting. He is a star dev. He has been performing pretty well. Three-year deal. I mean, he's only going to regress. That's it's just not great. We might have to pay him, but we'll wait and see. He'll be he'll be the last one. Ogan Joby is really nice at D tackle. Of course, he wants more money. Matt Milano, the man we traded for from the Buffalo Bills. He's been very productive. Led our team in interceptions last year. We'll take that. Uh, Mitchell's been all right, but that's why we've drafted at corner. So how is it going to work? We're going to make sure we can lock down Ogun Joby and Joku and Miles Garrett. And then from that, we will judge whether or not Olivier Vernon at 27 mil, knowing he's going to regress sooner than later, but does have that star dev, which could mitigate the, the regression just a little bit. If we have extra money left over, Vernon will also get himself a contract, but we're not in the business of letting any of these guys walk right now. And then number three, we still we made the playoffs, I guess. Beggars can't be choosers at this point, but still kind of frustrated. We've yet to secure a bye, but it has been a very competitive AFC North. And we actually won the division, which is pretty dope, which is I know a lot of Browns fans entering this coming season in real life are going to think that they are AFC North favorites. Uh, our team is really good. 95-95 <laughs> uh, on offense and defense with, you know, throwing the special teams. We round out to a 91 overall. Looking at the stats here, Baker Mayfield just again, very strong season, 4,400 passing yards, 30 touchdowns, 16 picks. Probably don't want him to play any worse than this. Uh, running backs, Nick Chubb, very good season, 1,300 yards, 8 touchdowns. 
From a receiving standpoint, 83 catches, 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns from Odell. Jarvis Landry slipped just a little bit here. Callaway had a nice season. Uh, Joku looked pretty well. You know what it probably happened? Callaway probably played the slot. They had Jarvis playing wide receiver too. Uh, make sure we'll correct that. Joe Schobert led the team with 115 tackles, 7 TFLs, 3.5 sacks, and a pick. Really good production. Miles Garrett, freak of nature, 69 tackles, 14 TFLs, 19.5 sacks. Good season from Vernon, who right now is set to go to free agency. He didn't want to take the low ball off. Well, not the low ball. Take the, the generous, fair offer, so might have to let him go. Marius Randall of the team with three interceptions. Again, probably the one area of this defense that I think has been underwhelming is our turnovers. MVP went to Saquon Barkley. Uh, AFC Offensive Player of the Year went to Phillip Rivers with Baker Mayfield coming in at 9. Defensive Player of the Year went to Miles Jack with Miles Garrett at number 7. Offensive Rookie of the Year went to C.D. Lamb. I don't think we're going to have anyone on either one of these lists, which we do not. But, hey, we made the playoffs. Our team's jacked. So, you know, we, ha we have a chance. We have a chance as we open up with a AFC North Divisional Rivalry. They were the runners-up in the division, the 8 Seven and one, Cincinnati Bengals. All righty, let's go and find the top team in the NFC North. And I feel like it should be the Cleveland. Come on, it's the Bengals. They don't win the playoffs. And why is Charlie Hewlett catching passes? Crazy things you see in the sim. But uh, nice 10 nothing lead here. We seem to be controlling the ball, playing strong defense in the first half. And there they go. They get the touchdown right at the end. But so do we. We're able to equalize. 10-point lead over the second half. We need Baker. We need Baker to play like Baker. We need that clutch Baker Mayfield. The reason why he was selected number one overall out of Oklahoma. That clutch trait. That leadership quality. Oh, no. There's no way they're going to tie it up, are they? And they do not. We hold on to a seven-point lead. Freddie Kitchens is ecstatic. as not the strongest game from Baker Mayfield, but a huge day for Odell. Nine catches, 117 yards. Jarvis with eight for 104 as the Cleveland Browns knock off the Bengals 2013 and move on to the AFC Divisional Round. We open the divisional round against Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans. A very strong roster to try to go up against. But, you know, the strength of our defense is our front seven. And the weakness of the Houston Texans is their offensive line. So I hope the Sim kind of takes that into account. And we can play some very strong defense. Up four right now. Trying to make it even bigger. Oh, my God. I think that was a turnover in the red zone. But uh, up four, hey, we'll, we'll take that. Up four into the second half. We're pressing right now. We get another tutty to go up 21 to 10. Our defense is playing strong, as I just kind of predicted there. 24-10, up 14 with four minutes to go. Clearly, and hopefully we won't choke away this lead here in the fourth quarter. It looks like we've done enough. I don't think there's any way they could come back with two minutes to go, as it looks like the Cleveland Browns are going to be heading to the AFC Championship game like the first time since... Did they make it like once in the 90s? I don't know. I could be. I literally am not up to date on my Browns history. But what I do know for a fact is in year three of the rebuild, the Browns have knocked off the Houston Texans 27-17. to All right game for Baker Mayfield. We haven't seen a huge playoff, defining playoff performance. But I don't think anyone's going to be complaining because a win's a win. And we're going to the AFC Championship game. In the AFC Championship game against the Denver Broncos, this should be a game on paper we feel like we can control and win as we jump out to a 7-0 lead. 14-zip. We are skunking them. Let's go. Let's 28 points in the first quarter. You hate to see it if you're a Bronco fan. I have no idea who the quarterback is. They say they sell Flacco, maybe? I assume they might have drafted one from this point. Their kicker has a great mullet. They have Drew Brees, a quarterback. Oh, my God. That's like the anti-John Elway quarterback. Um, we have done absolutely nothing in the... Oh, my God. This is pathetic. Why is the Sim this way? We get 28 points in the first quarter, and then we get three for the rest of the game. Oh, my God, man. That is just incredibly frustrating. Look at this, man. We can't even move the ball when we get there. But with the ball. Oh, my God. We got the ball in the red zone, and all we were able to manage is a field goal. Thank God. If we lost that game... I was getting ready to destroy everything down here. My God. Baker Mayfield is able to outduel, outlast, I guess, Drew Brees, 37 to 35. No real standout performances. Defense struggled, but we're going to the Super Bowl as we wait to find out the winner between the Bears and the Rams. Oh, let's go. Great pass to Odell. Little four verts cheese, but still good enough to keep the chains moving here on our opening drive. In the Super Bowl against the Chicago Bears. It's for, uh, first and goal on the two after a face mask. You better believe it. We're going to see what we can do with Chubb. Chubb hasn't felt the great, to be completely honest with you. Feels like he's lacking a little burst. But 
Hey, he's excelling with the C4 special, blowing a kiss to the Browns fans as we are trying to secure them a Super Bowl. All right, we got a first and goal on the seven here, trying to equalize it. The Bears are able to go down the field. So you better believe we like that matchup one-on-one -on -one with Odell. We're going to move out of the pocket. Why is wide open? Let's just chuck it there. And he'll fall into the end zone. Shout out to Hewlett. This guy's a monster. I'm pretty sure he's a lock snapper, but hey, there you go. We'll take it. <laughs> Well, that was that sucks that the animation just took me out as getting three points, but cool. Oh, that's a beautiful pass from Mr. Baker Mayfield to Jarvis Landry, bringing it all the way up to the two. I figure we get one more. We get one more score. This game's over. It's going to the fourth quarter, and the C4 special works to perfection. As good as anyone has run it all year long. Nick Chubb, congrats! You're in that C4 special Hall of Fame right now, son. All right, sitting on a hat trick, first and goal. See if we can get it for Nick Chubb here, solidify himself as our Super Bowl MVP gets blocked up very well. And there you go, man. Hat trick in the Super Bowl. Was that, what? Who took that? It Was that Warship? Was that a fullback touchdown? No, it wasn't. That was Chubb. Beautiful. That's him. This one out. We're going to get it. This one is going to be done. We got a nice little instant touchdown. The Bears just completely outclass as the she. Oh, my God, man. Let's go, Cleveland Browns. Win the Super Bowl in year number three, 38 to 10. If you told Cleveland Brown fans right now with everything that happened with Odell and Richardson and all this and that, that it'd take three years, three years to win the Super Bowl. I think every Browns fans would take it. Winning the Super Bowl while Baker Mayfield still is on his rookie deal. Freddie Kitchens from all, you know, all, all that we can assume from that little half season, whatever he did to finish out last year, does look like a prom promising coach and could elevate this team to Super Bowl contenders with all the new players he has at his disposal. Will it happen as quickly as three years in? Now that's a, uh, you know, that remains a different kind of, you know, different type of conversation, but my God, man, the Cleveland Browns win the Super Bowl. You're three of five. I mean, we still got two more years. You might as well see if we could turn this into a dynasty, but the hat trick in the Super Bowl, for Mr. Nicholas Chubb, Baker Mayfield played efficient, no turnovers. Callaway had a couple nice catches. Odell had a couple nice catches. Charlie Hewlett, with a just will not be denied of getting a touchdown here in the Super Bowl. As it looks like, even though the little graphic didn't pop up, Nick Chubb got himself a Super Bowl MVP, which I'm going to be completely honest with you, in Madden, that should get a dev trait boost automatically. But, come on, let's get the trophy presentation. Got You should be able to skip all this and just go right to the trophy presentation. There we go. Baker Mayfield's up there. Odell, Mr. Nicholas Chubb. I don't know who that is. Joe Schobert, I believe. But uh, that's a sight all Browns fans want to see them hoisting the Lombardi Trophy. And we still got two more years to try to build this squad into a dynasty. I think they have what it takes. I do think we, you know, we're only going to get better. We have our money situated. I mean, the only way this can go tits up is if Baker Mayfield does not want to resign when it comes time to paying him like $200 million or whatever it will be to get him into his contract. So that being said, let's get into year number four and try to make this Browns team into a dynasty. So it was another quiet free agency period. Like I said, we're doing all these moves with, you know, Baker Mayfield's huge contract in mind. So we did sign Charles Harris, uh, a defensive end here to take over for Olivier Vernon coming over from the Miami Dolphins. And here is our draft recap. Very solid draft. In the first round, we got Darren Goss, 74 wide receiver, normal dev, 6'2", 225. Good catching. Uh, we got a 76 tackle in the second round, Cade Zerline from Cincinnati. We got a 75 defensive end, normal. We didn't, get, we didn't get the greatest dev traits, to be completely honest with you. Fourth round, we got Ingram here, 73D tackle from Tennessee. Fifth round, 72 tackle DeMarco Jones from Kentucky. And then the rest of the draft was more so just filling up depth. But we got a couple good starters. We were able to replace Olivier Vernon on the edge with Charles Harris, but I think it's a little bit more upside. So let's go defend this Super Bowl championship. At the midway point of year number four, five and two, you know, we are the big dog in the NFL right now, but still which has been kind of consistent through this rebuild. The AFC North has been very, very competitive. We're only a game up on the Ravens and the Steelers. Looking at contracts, this is going to be very expensive. Uh, first off, we got Denzel Ward. He was a 99. Of course, dev traits are ridiculous in the game, so already lost it. He's already down to a start. Same with Baker Mayfield. No longer a superstar, but 156 milli. We got him locked up. Mr. Nick Chubb. We'd like to get Mr. Nick Chubb locked up, which we did. Austin Corbett is another big-time player. That would be nice if we can get him. My God, these guys. What a draft class. 
you know, this draft class just understands their value. And then, can we get Callaway to have no money whatsoever? Oh, my God. We might not be able to re-sign Callaway. We'll come back because, you know, that quick dev, 2482, would be nice to bring him back. But, look, we got, we got all the franchise players locked up as we try to, you know, win another Super Bowl. Well, I'm convinced that we'll never get a first round bye as at the end of year four, we're 12 and four and still have to go the long route to win a Super Bowl. But hey, we're here again. We're able to defend our title. Good. We got 99s out the wazoo. We're a 93 overall with a 97 offense, 95 defense. Oh my God. How, how did this happen? The Jets and the, te uh, I guess so. I guess so. Looking at the stats here, Baker Mayfield, very strong season, 4,400 passing yards, 33 touchdowns, 10 picks. Big year from Nick Chubb. That's his best year so far of his career. 1,400 rushing yards, 15 tutties. So that Super Bowl MVP probably helped him out here. 1,000 yards, big season from Odell, 98 catches, 1,200 yards, 12 tutties. Landry and Joku as well played very well. Schobert, 113 tackles, 7 TFLs, a sack, and 2 picks. We got 16 and a half sacks from Miles Garrett, 14 from the interior from Sheldon Richardson. That is huge. Three picks. Interception stepped it up, too. I called them out every year. That we need to get more turnovers in the secondary, and they are starting to listen. MVP went to Matt Ryan. I think that's the second time he's won it. Baker Mayfield coming in at number three. Uh, Deshaun Watson got the M uh, Offensive Player of the Year. Baker Mayfield, number four. Nick Chubb at number six. Defensive Player of the Year went to C.J. Mosley with Sheldon Richardson at seven. Miles Garrett at eight. Joe Schobert at nine. So that is a lot of production from our team, but unfortunately, we don't get the luxury of that first round bye to heal up. So we're going right into the damn thing against Patrick Mahomes and the 8-8 eight and eight Chiefs. But at least we get to play it in front of the dog pound. All right, this is surely going to be a lot of fireworks here between Mahomes and Baker Mayfield as the Browns, as defending Super Bowl champions, take on a very potent offense here in the Kansas City Chiefs. It would be nice if we still had Kareem Hunt. It could have been a little bit of a revenge game, redemption game. Does it really deserve a redemption game? I don't know. That's for you guys to decide. But we are struggling to score points. Only three points in the first half from our 99 overall quarterback. We have a 99 wide receiver, a 98 running back. Uh, not very impressed, but we tied up at 10 apiece here. Low scoring game. Whatever defense wants it more looks like is going to be the team that wins. We tied up at 17 apiece as it goes down to the nitty gritty. We got 245. Game is tied. Can Baker Mayfield orchestrate a drive? We went for it on fourth down. I like the big balls there. We kick a field goal, go up three with a minute 24 left to go. Kansas City gets the instant touchdown. We got 13 seconds left. Let's come in. We got 13 seconds left. They got the instant tutty. I don't really care if we lose. I just don't want to go out on the game's terms. I want to go out on our terms. We have no timeouts left. That's awesome. I love being rushed here. So go for the end zone. Let's go for the end zone. Boom. We throw it to Odell. He makes the grab. Oh, my God. I think that was Kendall Fuller in covers they met before in the NFC East, and they meet here when it's all the line in the wild card. Eight seconds left, and just like that, the clutch touchdown from Baker Mayfield outduels Patrick Mahomes as we are moving back into deep into the AFC playoffs, going to the AFC Divisional Round. Divisional playoff time. We're going against the Texans, becoming a familiar foe that we're finding here. Baker Mayfield just going up against a who's who in the AFC. First, he knocked out Patty Mahomes. Next up, Mr. Deshaun Watson. Are we scared? Not one damn bit. You know, the Texans want some revenge after last year's playoffs where we were able to defeat them. But again, man, it's, it's a goddamn similar case of us just continually settling for field goals in the red zone. That is unacceptable for this offense. We had the lead going in the second half. We're down. We're trying to find a way to battle back. We're on the one. We're able to get a tutty to go up three into the fourth quarter. We're rolling again. A touchdown here would give us a lot of confidence that we could see this one out. Nice little instant touchdown from the Houston Texans. We went for it on fourth down. Okay, we're up six. A minute 49. Clearly, we're not going to give this one up, right? 27 seconds left. Third down. Can't make the stop. Oh, look at that. God damn it. God damn it. Big game from Deshaun Watson. Not, not super upset about that one, but there, there definitely was a little bit of cheese. We definitely had maybe a claim to some Madden cheese, but we still got one more year of this five-year rebuild to try to win another Super Bowl. Could be worse. With only $2 million of available cap, we weren't able to sign anybody in free agency, but we had a very good draft yet again. In the first round, we got Hetherington from Auburn, the center, 78 normal dev. We'll probably actually start this year over J.C. Treader, who is regressing a lot. We got a nice little middle linebacker here, Dixon Phillip from Grand Valley State, 77 normal. We got a 73 corner, 73 tackle, 72 backup quarterback from Oregon State, 
and then just a couple depth guys as we look to have a quick turnaround to get back into the Super Bowl in year number five. So as we open up our fifth and final year, this team is stacked, man, like a chick with seven double D, you know? Does that even exist? Maybe. But 93 overall, 97 offense, 95 defense. Just we got we got ballers. We got ballers up and down. Is this is Dwayne the Rock Johnson somewhere? Because this team's nothing but ballers. Um do have a little bit, you know, some issues here. We got we'll actually go at the younger center. Um, you know, we're going to right tackle. We have Zerline 78. But you know, it's still it's only one area of weakness. We should be able to survive. We got just Denzel Ward, Miles Garrett. I mean, crazy team, top to bottom. Rocky has since developed into a very nice corner. As people are blowing up my phone. I assume something's going on right now with the Eagles. But, um, yeah, let's get into the fifth and final year. Let's win another Super Bowl. Plain and simple. Well, heaven forbid we get a first round bye. At least we made another playoffs, and it's where it all started. I think our first playoff game was against the Chargers. Now we got them again. Battle of the 10 and 6s, except we need to go to the West Coast, but our team, 99, 99, 96 base. Um, we actually, whoa, okay. So every single year, the AFC North was uber competitive, and a 99, 99 going 10 to 6, third of the division. You don't see that every day. Baker Mayfield, very good. Almost 4,500 passing yards, 37 touchdowns to nine picks. I think that's his best year. 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns from Nick Chubb, really nice. 88 catches, 1,200 yards, eight tutties from Odell. Callaway finally having a breakout season. On the defensive side, Schobert has been a tackle machine throughout. 19 sacks, 21 TFLs from Miles Garrett. Another big year from Sheldon Richardson, who I think low-key has been incredible in this rebuild. And then the secondary turnovers, yeah, you know, that's been probably the one little nitpick throughout this. Is I don't think we've got enough turnovers for how good our secondary is. MVP went to Jericho. Okay, Matt Ryan's a god in this rebuild. Uh, Baker Mayfield coming in at number three in the AFC office play. They went to Baker Mayfield. Congrats. My dude, defensive player of the year, Joe Schobert. Congrats, my dude. Miles Garrett at number two. We'll take that every day of the week. Lots of individual success, but we need that to translate to team success. So let's go on one more ride. All right, opening game against the Chargers, a team that no one wants to see in the playoffs, especially when you're now into a year five. It's not a Super Bowl bust, but a year five, kind of want to win a Super Bowl scenario. The Chargers always, always. I don't think there's been one other team in the history of rebuilds on my, on my goddamn channel going back to like Madden 17. That has caused me more trouble. That has stonewalled me from playoff success more than the LA Chargers. So it was even back when the San Diego Chargers, they were robbing me blind. So this is going to be a very, very tough game. Three-point lead here late in the third quarter. I'm liking it, but both teams' defenses are playing very, very well at the moment. But a three-point lead, we've been able to maintain that. Our defense is fighting tooth and nail. They have a turnover in the red zone. And my God, we cannot buy a touchdown to save our lives. But, oh, of course, can't buy a touchdown. And then the Chargers get a touchdown after not doing anything. God damn it. No touchdowns all game. And, of course, Kirk Cousins leads the Chargers to get a touchdown with, like, a minute left of the fourth. Uh, wasn't, it wasn't meant to be, I guess. We got the one Super Bowl, though, in year number three. We'll always remember that as uh, that does it for the second rebuild, the updated post-free agency rebuild. But, I mean, there's still a couple uh, more free agents to go. My God. Oh, people were blowing my – Eric Berry got released from the Chiefs. What a bunch of idiots. Oh, you just got Honey Badger. Keep Eric Berry. Okay, that's for another video. That's I don't even know if that's for another video, but uh, well, we won't let that seep over into the Browns rebuild here. Um, you know, going to be just, again, when you go to Madden 20, going to be a very popular team to try to rebuild – uh, yet again. So we just got a little bit of a taste, a little bit of a teaser here with Odell Beckham Jr. and Sheldon Richardson. Uh, those are probably the two big gets you could talk about. Um, and Kareem Hunt, I guess, to an extent. And we won the Super Bowl. So until Madden 20, we're probably going to put the Cleveland Browns away. But as I stated in the opening of this video, let me know in the comment section below, guys, what team you want to see for a post-free agency rebuild. Like I said, I'm not going to do a whole lot of teams. I'm trying to limit myself for four more episodes. This one here makes five. Just so, like I said, things are going to be fresh and exciting and feel like I've never done them before when we get into Madden 20. So, uh, you know, keep keep it. I, like I assume, the Raiders are going to be done. The, the Jets, maybe. The Steelers. The Giants. You could look at, I don't know, who else has made a bunch of moves. 
off the top of my head. Cardinals have made some moves. I, I don't know. Let me know. I want to hear what you guys want to see done in the comments. As always, if you're your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping. You talking that shit when you talking and talking. Look at my options, look at me dropping. Ass in the game, like who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never. Not me, not me.